Hi, my name is Will Trickett. I'm a Power BI developer with Blue Margin. And over the next few minutes, I'm going to walk you through our legal HQ report. This dashboard is an industry standard for the legal industry, and it helps uh, firms manage their matters and clients in a much more efficient and effective way. Um, so I'm excited to walk you through this, but first I want to talk a little bit more about who Blue Margin is. Um, so Blue Margin is based in Fort Collins, Colorado. We are a business intelligence consulting firm, and we specialize in helping companies transition from more of a reactionary um, model where data is very messy and hard to access to a data-driven company where everything is easily accessible and um, reports and data warehouses are set up in a way that um, can help you make better decisions for your firm. Um, so we've worked for a number of different legal companies, um, including Thompson Hine, Auric. I'll reference some of those case studies later that you can find on our website. Um, but through this process, we've identified a number of key sticking points in the legal industry that um, we think can be addressed by some of these dashboards that we've built. Um, so why Legal HQ? Uh, this report allows you to have better visibility into your book of business and your matter management. Um, it gives more of a firm-wide insight into attorney performance, um, which is helpful for the attorneys themselves and also managers to be able to um, see how a, the company is doing as a whole. And this is all packaged in a very intuitive and easy to access report, um, which for users who may not be tech savvy or from an IT background, um, this allows it to be consumable for them and not overwhelming. Um, so with that, I'm gonna jump into the report. I'm going to start on the partner performance page. So this page is focused on seeing where a partner is generating the most and the least value. You can see that right now we're viewing data for just one partner. And on the top right, you have visibility into the number of billable hours and the value at the client rate for the month that's been selected. Uh, these metrics are then split out further by client, um, down on the bottom left by client matter and timekeeper. And you can also get a sense of the trend of how value it has trended over time, as well as some additional details. Um, so the way that a user would navigate this report is maybe they want to see um, their client that's generating the most value. And they can click on, for example, Davis and Neil, and this will cross filter the page so that the rest of the report is now showing data for just the selected client. And you can see that revenue has been trending up over time for them. And on the bottom left here, you could drill down to the particular matters that make up the value for that client. And here I can see that this top matter, Peter Gamilton, is generating a large percentage of the value for that client. So I can click down here, and now I can see which timekeeper is responsible for that value. Um, again, this is available as additional details on the bottom right. Um, but this view is, is fairly simple, but it just allows a um, quick overview of a lawyer's book of business so that they can um, get a better sense of how they're doing. Uh, secondly, if you navigate to the Client Matters Summary page, um, you can see about 12 metrics here that are split out by Client Matter. Um, these are metrics that we found to be key for um, firms that we've worked with in the past, and they range from anywhere, to, anywhere from uh, billable hours to billing realization all the way into collections. Um, this can be split out also by period, so you can see by month, year, or by the working timekeeper that's associated with those time entries. And if I go back to client matter, and maybe I want to look into some detail on the actual time entries that were logged to these clients and matters, I can click on, for example, Dynacorp and expand. Here I can see the matters for that client, and maybe I want to look at the time entries. So I can right-click on this matter, select Drill Through, and go to the Time Entry Detail page. And this page is going to give you individual line entries for that client matter. I can see if it's been billed, what the realization was, what the status is, and a narrative um, for what took place for that time entry. Um, I can also filter down to see here's the ones that have been canceled, here's the ones that are currently in WIP um, or pre-bill, and just get better detail into each of those different statuses. So I will navigate back, and from here, I'm going to also look into the inventory summary page. So the inventory summary page allows you to see WIP amount and AR amount split out by aging bucket, and then by location, practice group, and client. 
and it also provides an idea of the trend of inventory over time. Um, so maybe as a user, I want to look at the high risk whip amount. So I could click on this 365 plus bucket. And again, the rest of the visuals will cross filter to show data for just that bucket. And here I can see that the mountain location has the most high risk whip at 5.9 million. Uh, maybe I want to dig into that so I can control click on mountain. And now I'm looking at mountain data for 365 plus. And I see that the CB tax service client has the most at 1.13 million. So if I want to look into that further, again, I can right click here, drill through and go to my web aging. And this page is going to carry all the filters over. So I can see that 1.13 in my aging bucket. I can see it for my client. And here I can see that a particular billing timekeeper has um, a large percentage of that high risk whip value. And if I drill down, I can see even the actual matter um, where that unbuilt time is. If I further right click here and drill through to my unbuilt time, now I'm at the actual entry that needs to be built. And I can look at, um, again, narratives and additional detail for that time entry. So as you can imagine, this is extremely helpful for a lawyer or a manager to be able to um, look into where there's areas of concern in inventory and be able to address them um, quickly and to navigate um, without having to jump between multiple reports or um, look at different systems. It's all in one consolidated reporting suite that the, the user can use to um, answer their questions and resolve problems um, expediently. So with that, um, I just want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Um, if you'd like to see more detail into this report, or if you'd like us to meet with you and discuss um, your uh, data environment and how uh, business intelligence can help you manage your firm better, um, we'd love to meet with you. You can go to bluemargin.com and select contact us in order to get in touch. And uh, yeah, we look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you.